Pickers and Sheep Punchers. This is Jerry Duty Summons, and today I'd like to show you guys how to install a mod. I've gotten a couple requests, and I figured it would be a good time to do that now that I don't have um, another video lined up. So first thing you do is open up your Windows Explorer, and then we're going to go into the App Data folder. Which the easiest way to get to it is by doing um, percent sign App Data percent sign. And that'll jump you right to it. And that is going to work in both Windows 7, which I'm running right now, or Windows XP. Your, um, for, for the Mac users out there, it's going to be a different location. I'm just not sure where it is. Um, I'll, uh, if I can find a link in the, in the, full, in the, uh, in the forums on how to do that, I will. I'll throw it in the below bar. Uh, all right, so here's, here's your Minecraft. So in the roaming folder, which is where you go, you're looking for the Minecraft folder. I've already made a backup of that folder before doing this. You always want to do a backup because it, you could, it's pretty easy to um, screw things up. And, you know, it's, it's nice to have a really quick and easy way just to recover where you were. All right. Here we go. The folder we're interested in is in the bin folder. Um, if you notice here, you have saves. That is where all of your save files are located. And also texture packs. If you ever need to, uh, if you ever download a texture pack, this is right where you put it, just in the zip file. Don't even uncompress it. Um, screenshots, any screenshot you take is saved there. All right, back to the bin folder. Inside the bin folder, what we're interested in is this Minecraft file. It is a Minecraft.jar. A jar file is a uh, zip file that contains Java uh, source code. Uh, source code and what and other and other resources for the for the jar or for the uh, Java program. All right, so we're gonna have so what we want to do is we want to open this. I have a, I'm using a program called Seven Zip, which I will link in the below bar as well. And I'm just gonna open the archive. Ta da! All right, if you don't have Seven Zip or are unable to download it for some reason, you can also rename the file to a zip file, make your changes, and then when you're finished, rename it back to a .jar file. Um, for now, I'll just assume that you have uh, Minecraft.jar. All right, I had another program here. There we go. Okay, this is the, um, this is a an add-on I downloaded called Extended Reach. And uh, I just want to play around with it and see how it worked. And so we will, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that file and drag it into our archive. Are you sure you want to do that? Yep. I'm really sure. Also, you need to make sure the meta.inf file is gone. So just click on it, hit delete. Yes, I'm sure you want to delete it. So it's gone now. All right. And that's all you need to do. Let's, so you just close that and make sure it's not locked up. And then we're going to load uh, Minecraft and we'll see if it works. TNT here. Let's see if this is going to work for us. Yep, you can see it's uh, working perfect. <laughs> um, like usual, if there's any questions, just let me know and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Have a nice day, folks.